John.Foster app. BBC Radio Tees. Oh, get one. Move the car. <laughs> Come on. We really do need these radio Lovely Range Rover in the back of the shop. He's coming along here, perfectly well, nice straight line. Got to here and lost the will to live. Look. <laughs> and then someone else came along and just sort of plonked a big duvet on the back. <laughs> I've grown out of road rage. Do you know what I mean? When I was younger, I used to, to, to give the finger and, and uh, in fact, take the finger. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Look at the details. The gear lever that seems to have come from a sex shop. I'm all right, right really. I mean, well done for there was just complete bravery. <laughs> you deserve a George Medal for every corner. That's why the police never catch me. I'm not. <laughs> also, very light because it's made from silicon car carbide. Five. Oh. 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 I've got to say, it's got reasonable traction, reasonable. <laughs> When I say reasonable ground clearance, what I was going to say is really appalling ground clearance. We are um, teetering, that's the word I'm looking for now. The region of China, just near Tibet, and you're a northeast. Mile in the sky. You'd look and you go, oh, someone right here, Evans. This is all just rubbish. That's not an 11, is it? Ah, well, you see, there are two Hollands. One where everyone goes on holiday in a caravan, and there are tulips. And then you've got the other, which is full of. Drunk Liverpudlians vomiting on Filipino girls. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I haven't the heart to tell him. It's all over, mate. Oh, cock. It smells nice in here. <laughs> Good evening. Do, do you mind if I come back a bit? My colleague is rather short in the leg. But let's start by seeing what changes James has made. It looks exactly the same. Is this putty? No, it's bathroom sealant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the car. Oh, I've run out of money. <laughs> Go on, that's a Fiat Multipler. It's like the car has a disease. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, look, it's got spots. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, like, deformed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because, um, what's that shop called where girls buy earrings and f stuff? Yeah, yeah I, I don't go there myself, it's accessorised. Accessorised, that's the one. Well, this, this is like a hair scrunchy thing for men. <laughs> Get out of the way, you Polish lorry! Why are you cluttering up our roads with Latvian milk? The Stig did say that he's never met anyone who, and I think he put it, dicks about as much as you. <laughs> I came around the corner at 40, in the Ferrari, and there he is with his hair greased down. I brought me over down for yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, we got the herd of them all off the road. It was just heaven. <laughs> and that's the problem. Hold your camera. <laughs> that is extraordinary. All the organs in my body that were pushed to the back when I accelerated have now shot forward again. My tonsils are now in front of my front teeth. Oh! Are you being recorded so you can test if you would be good as a presenter? No, no, I am a presenter. Oh, Do you mind? Sorry, sorry. This isn't you... my real job. It is, what, one and a half seconds slower than Lamborghini Gallardo, but then if you look at it, look at it this way, if this were the cool wall, I mean, it would be kind of in your ear. Yeah. Really. The driver told me he's been doing this six years and he's three centimetres shorter. I can't afford to lose three centimetres. This is the best ski lift I've ever been on. Morning. You well? You well? Yeah, no, I mean, a good day. Yeah, middle, I was in marketing for oil. OK. Which is technically the easiest job on the planet. <laughs> do, you, do you have a fuel gauge in your car? Yeah. Yeah, you know when that goes into the red? Yeah. Buy some petrol. <laughs> <laughs> job done. Is that for each seat, those, um... Yeah, that's yeah. for him. Yeah, and my ass is burning really, off. Yeah, because I left his seat on five. five. You oh, see, I, I see. thought that might... It was the wrong thing to do now. <laughs> With the Capri, Ford did what it's always been able to do really well, taking a very aspirational idea, two-door coupe, Big bonnet and made it available to the people. Oh, 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 off. The men 
that's the seat itself. You sit bolt upright, and if you move the lever, you go flat on your back. That caravan, it, that is genius. Who ever thought of that addition? It was me. It's not a bad idea. You're wearing tights. I am. I can't take lectures on physics from a man in tights. I am aware Dancing, of Dancing, yes. <laughs> physics, no. <laughs> but hang on a second. It was a plane. We specify everything that goes on our board here has to be road legal. Yeah, if you took that plane to the shops, the police would stop you. Yeah. yeah it's got no indicators, no brake lights, got no brakes. This, um, this first one is called the Bond, and it's perhaps more of a closing manoeuvre. So the car's there, and you, you walk away from your car thus, and then at the last minute, you turn and fire. <laughs> That's the, it's a simple, good one to start with, I reckon. Keeping the range good. This cruising thing, what's it about? Oh. Yeah. It's about flexing, man. It's about what? Flexing, man. Have a good time. And flexing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the f*** you want about? <laughs> Coming up now toward the national speed limit, some of the shape has been lost, some of the style. <laughs> oh, no, it's gone! It's gone! <laughs> Cambridge educated? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. A lot of people take that the wrong way. A lot of people think if you're Cambridge educated, you may be a bit pompous and up yourself. Not true. <laughs> Only reason I went to Cambridge is because I got four A's at A-level. <laughs> <laughs> it's so quick, it can destroy your entire face. Uh, Italy and uh, France and Germany. Germany. Yeah. You called, you know, as you'll be called here, Professor something. Or Doctor. Doctor, some, Doctor Clarkson. Doctor. You would be called Engineer Clarkson. Well, you wouldn't, obviously, with your knowledge of supercharges, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> but over there, it would happen. My favourite sign of all time is falling rocks. You know the red triangle, mm. falling rocks? What am I meant to do with that information? <laughs> <laughs> I may as well just have a sign saying, random accidents ahead. <laughs> Life's a lottery, be lucky. <laughs> There's more evidence, too, that Porsche weren't really concentrating when they designed this car. I mean, change into third and the gear lever comes off. In fact, Hammond had given his 924 sporting credentials it didn't deserve. <laughs> Rude, look at that! Well, it was just at that time, the first time, well, not the first time I went there, but I can remember not that long ago, driving along a main road, filled up with petrol, and I gave the bloke in the cash point my credit card. He just put it in the till. <laughs> I am now about 40 yards from the back of my car, and the central locking is still working fine. But if I go back another 10 or 15 yards to say here, we're out of range. However, if I put the key against my head, like so, and try again, <laughs> it's working! Ooh. <laughs> It's a Chrysler PT Cruiser. It's a hearse. <laughs> You're right, actually. That would make a good hearse. Yeah. I mean, it is a hearse. It's a friendly face from the country that gave you friendly fire. <laughs> okay, can we just yeah. bring up a photograph? This oh, yeah. This is the sort of thing. <laughs> so that is dodgy, isn't Do it? Do you really wear is. that when oh, you... certainly not. No, definitely not. No. I mean, this is a Power Ranger, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I am a driving dog! I am a driving god! <laughs> Every panel of our Aston has a scrape or a dent, even the roof. How can you get a scrape on the roof? How can you get a scrape on the roof? Low bridges. No. <laughs> and they took me to court for speeding, and they were in, in court and they said he was doing between 106 and 108 miles an hour. And I said, that'll be 107 then. <laughs> 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 I, I phoned up my own restaurant and pretended to be you, and they wouldn't give me a table till December. <laughs> you know what? It was called a 911, don't you? So the Americans would know what to dial when they crashed. <laughs> and they would crash. It's a very scary car. And it's such a stupid noise that most of Yeah, but you know make. what? As they're driving past your house at 90 miles an hour and you're clipping the hedge with your black and decker, they're just going past you going, sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you reckon this will work? Yeah, it's like golden elixir, that stuff. <laughs>
Does it make the car smell of it? It, uh, it is actually the different restaurants you can tell what you're running it on. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's um, it's quite hard to drive like this, to be honest.